Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dungan Runpa. My name is Red Wings, and we are in the middle of the investigation phase. Now, to refresh from last time. So we have truth bullets, and if I can get to the right one. There we go! A series of numbers have been written in blood on Makoto's bathroom wall. 11037. It is assumed that Sayaka wrote these numbers while she leaned up against the wall as she lay dying. Well, there's two portions of this. One, I noticed it looks like a series of numbers. But the first thing I thought of, it looked like Noel, and then I flipped it around, and actually, no, it looks like Leon. Well, that gave me the suspicion that because of the blood print, index finger of the left hand, she had to have written it upside down. And she's got glittery. She probably was attacked first with the other thing, so that led me to believe Leon's the killer. Hey, guess what? I'm right, because I accidentally went on TV tropes and went, oh, hey, fuck. I didn't realize so much was going to be unspoilered, because it's not major game spoilers. I thought I could go through without reading the blacked out text on a TV tropes article and be totally fine when, uh, <laughs> no, that's not the case at all. Um, so unfortunately, I'm correct already, and I already had the suspicion I just didn't voice it last time. That being said, I do kind of remember myself already pointing in this guy's direction because he's right out here and I wanted to see what he thought about it. So I indirectly kind of pointed it out, but he wasn't exactly... I didn't exactly get the chance to state my suspicion because it was getting very, very late. Well, we're going to pursue this lead in earnest, and I probably have to figure out some other parts of the investigation anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, well, seems like something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't th stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Oh, that's all he's going to say. So he's pointing us in on a clue, which is interestingly helpful, but I already kind of looked at the nameplate, I think. Oh, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted to exit. So, Sayaka was stabbed with a knife, and there is a very clear idea, or at least I have an idea of where a knife could be. If we head to the dining hall, there were some areas that I could not explore yet. Let's see if I can now. Hello, I. Yes, I can go a little bit further. Alright. Hello. There's a surveillance camera in the kitchen, too. Knowing Monokuma could be watching me, there's no way I could concentrate on touching anything. And we'll also check for Monokuma things. Monokuma coins. Marbled meats! Salted meats! Now's no time to be thinking about food. Oh, but I got him a coin, though. Back up to five. How about you? This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. They even put them in the kitchen. It's impossible to cook in here without thinking about how he could reappear any second. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing else but these two. And oh, hey! Oh, first of all, hello. There's a thing down here. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. But we got a coin, so there we go. I think I already checked surveillance camera, but hey, look at that! There's a missing knife! And there's a knife in Sayaka's body. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but... It looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or... I better see if anyone here knows more about it. So, there we go. Kitchen knife has now been added to the handbook. Let's check Aoi. I think she's sitting out here, yes. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Also, it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. 
You can tell everyone I didn't come into the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. Cool. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Because, I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, Aww. I honestly have no idea. Well, Aoi still has been able to give us some uh, some neat stuff. Uh, Food Boy, you are over here. You might know something. Mm-hmm. Very strange. Mr. Eggy, what was Miss Marizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. No, sis. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. You really think I'm guilty? Oh, yeah, there was a trash room thing. Where's the trash? This is the trash room. We're gonna look for dis evidence there, though. Okay. There's only two things I can do. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Monokuma appears! It's the end of the line! The trash room. This is where the trash room school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no! You can't go any further! No entry yet. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go. This is stupid. Be bad. Just no, go around no, and ask you other. Can't go any further. Okay, fine. Cleaning duty. All right, there was a door over here. The hat. There's a hatch on the floor. The door won't budge. It must be. Yeah, you figured it. Out. You couldn't have deduced that by the golden lock sitting on there. Ooh, there's other things. Even here, there's a damn monitor. What is this? How about you? It looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Well, it certainly doesn't play video games, and that would be much nicer in this situation, but I don't think that it'll be getting. Where's behind us supposed to be using these cameras to observe our investigation? To force us into a situation like this. What the hell do they want from us? Alright, that appears to be all I can do here. Uh, we have two- we have a lead, but I'm just checking around anyways. Uh, hello, you! Byakya! Byakya! Can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? Hm. No. Such ignorance. Like a child lost in the woods, you know that? A total waste of space. What do you mean? Hm. Taka's the one who has any interest in organizing things like that. What do you find? Okay, so... Taka, and there's somebody else. What the hell? Uh, truth bullets. Uh, so we're looking at... Where the hell did it go? Uh, I'll recognize a face. Okay, so there's actually stuff that I can look at for investigation's sake. Oh, you! You're the programmer. Uh, girl on the right. Uh, is there anything in the first floor down here? Uh, there you are. Taka. Oh, he's easy to get to then. Um, forward this way? Okay, so Taka's gonna be around here somewhere. There you are! <laughs> Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning! 
Really? Listen to me! You probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning duty now. That's wrong! Actually now. Huh? Okay, then who is? <laughs> Ifumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count on it! Indeed! It will swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. Got it. And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you. Who is Hifumi again? Oh, you're the food guy. Okay, so food guy and programmer. Let's do programmer since we're here and I know this is going to be a little bit more important. Hello. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh? What is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mm. Um... Sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm so I just don't know. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. Well, yeah. No sense asking you. So let's see here. I gotta go back to Hifumi. And he is on the second floor. Well, there is one function for the run button. Going back and forth between these areas quicker. Ifu me, I've got information about cleaning duty. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Wanakonama talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without somebody on cleaning duty, the school will be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. <coughs> Excuse me. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? <laughs> of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. When you do that, they gave me the treat key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room? And only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room all the time open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more that does seem more convenient. So in other words. Actually. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could, get, could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. B boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty, why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. Um... I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You. Liar, I know why you did Is it. Is it like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. <laughs> all my love is for 2D. <laughs> you know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash triggers like that. You'll get tired of 2D and then turn to, I would never get tired of 2D. <laughs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them, picking up from picking up the trash to disposing of it. Hey. What? 
If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> Not how it's supposed to! Anyway, on to another topic. Ufumi, since you are on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. <laughs> what, so now you suddenly want to join that my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from mass trauma or save a village or meet a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You! Oh, okay! So easy. So Fumi and I headed down to the trash room. Hmm. You'd like me to open the gate, hmm. wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living. Get busy living. Or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. What, did you really just make a Shawshank Redemption th thing there? Whatever, please just hurry up. <laughs> Okie dokie, leave it to me. Ifumi used the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! You surely aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along! N no! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had to try to destroy, destroy any evidence or not! Hmm. But the hmm. actual killer hmm. is you, isn't it? Hmm. You want to see if you left anything behind! <gasps> Wait! Maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay, so there's shit on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. Looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this yeah, is that... Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. If you collect all seven, a dragon will have... God damn it! Mm. I'm kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl was on a point to find- Okay. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. It should all still be in the gym, I better go find out for sure. Okay. Oh! I forget the name of the other dude, but the psychic guy's there. What about this? There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff. Which means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Uh, let's see what this does. A green button and a yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. This is the incinerator. It's in the way back it's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah! And it's on right now! Mm-hmm. You see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. <coughs> Excuse me. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty. So make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? Ah! Someone's turning the incinerator on! Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. But Fumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? huh? A fairy? No, you said that the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes. About that, there can be no mistake. I've got, if I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I mean, I guess so, given the amount of references you're pulling off here. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate... Most suspicious. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Throwing the crystal ball at it. Hmm. Hmm. The whole thing hmm. is quite strange hmm. indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. <laughs> what does it all mean, I'm Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing to someone? Why me? I'm sure. <coughs> Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. 
Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. I mean, to be fair to him, we are resolving this in a decent time. Hi, there's a thing over here I didn't see. Can I see it from the other direction? That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash we can't burn? Oh, what is it? Whatever it's for, it doesn't look like it's hiding any clues. But I did get a Monokuma coin from it. Oh, there's a box over here. Can I look at the box? You the area? Yes. Okay, so now we got a thing about the crystal ball. Let's go and ask Duder about it. I swear I cannot remember any of these names since I'm not here for a while. It's seriously been almost a week since my last time I played this, so... Damn, my back is hurting me. And I have the dang this clue one. Hero, there you are. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Uh huh, no, 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 I gotta get out of here, gotta get out now, I've had enough, gotta break free! Hero, snap out of it! Oh, yeah. Huh? Huh? Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Huh? Ah! That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed! What the hell? What the heck? I, I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed, he said it was unbreakable! So, how did it break? What? What? Was it actually made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whatever ever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged uh, to you. Um. Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um... Sh sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune-telling for two full years. You have to be like... a million. Eh? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the- I- sorry, I can't decide what the hell the poison I'm trying to give him. Just too- too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Alright. So we have a new lead! Let's go to the laundry room! Ooh, hi, no. Get me out of here. I bet you more- Later on, more shit is gonna involve the upper floors as well, because they've just been totally barred off. So the laundry room is right here. Oh, this is where I talked to Junko. Oh Jesus, there's a lot that is in here. Doesn't have any other kids. Um. How about the things? There we go. Okay, yeah, nothing there. How about here? Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. What else? This thing. Nothing here either. Yeah, everything else here I've already checked, so there's... So there's nothing else here. 
So there's nothing in the laundry room. Uh, fucking hell, who? Okay, let's, let's go back over our items. Truth bullets. Victim was Sayaka Mizona. Time of death is estimated around 30. We go to the room in the dormitory. Took place in the bathroom. Cause of death was the stab room to the admin. And anyway, a number of scratches and gouges. Took the gym, put it in his room. The sword was found up a sheet floor of the middle room. Okay, no. 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 I already know that one. No. 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 Nope. Nope. Nope, not a damn. How about you? Do you have anything to say about this? Anything new to add here? Very strange. Hmm. Oh, I apparently was going through dialogue a little too fast because I thought it was all repeats. Huh? Hmm. After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Yeah. The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me. Then it shouldn't have... It should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all I can say right now is that it's a possibility. Th that's... If that's really true, then I... Yaka, yeah, you're an ass. Uh, who have I not talked to yet? Uh, let's actually see if the other two have... New shit. There you are. New shit for me? Hey. Hmm. Nothing from you. How about Mundo? By the way. You son of a bitch. Oh, shit. You're fucking dead. Yo. Okay, yeah. yeah, nothing. Nothing new here. Wait. No. Let's head back over here and talk to other people. I can't get anything. Okay, so, map. Who's here? Tucko's in the room right over where? Here? Let's check, Tucko. To kill someone just to save your own life. And I've been living with someone like that. I think I might have vomit. But is what Monokuma said really true? Did one of us really kill Sayaka? <laughs> if the mastermind was really going to get involved, they would have just killed us on day one. That's a good point. By the way, how's your investigation going? <sighs> I already told you, I don't do blood, so I don't plan on doing any investigating. Besides, I already know who did it. This is very suspicious. After all, what was Sayaka kill? In your room, right? What more proof do we need? We already know the truth. She really doesn't trust me at all. Okay. Bless, then. I have not talked to you in a while. Miss probably German. So, uh, do you have any clues or anything? <laughs> what kind of clues? Let us just agree we do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Whatever secrets I may have, I don't intend on revealing anything until the class trial. 
Okay then, do you have any suggestions for where I should start looking? Well, well so annoying. Must you fumble around fishing blindly for clues? <laughs> suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. The scene of the crime, naturally, but I think the trash room is also worth looking into. <laughs> trash room? It's the perfect place to destroy evidence. However, there is one little problem. Which is... As for me... The place is filthy. I would rather die than set foot in there. <laughs> I'm trusting all of you to conduct a thorough investigation on my behalf. Uh, uh, that's... That's useless! Map. I think I've talked to everybody. Wait. Does Hifumi have new dialogue now that I am in the trash? Now that I've looked at the trash room. Hey, this. Where are you? Nagy, you seem a little down. Huh? Really? Mm -hmm. If he help us in your spirits calling me anytime. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, he's just right out about it, isn't he? You have a thing up here. Nope, that's it. Okay. Let's look at my mm -hmm. map, because there seems to be shit in each of these. Uh, mm -hmm. maybe talking to Hero again? Sorry, not hero. Daka. Do you know anything else? Literally anything else, Daka. I need help. Listen to me. Do you have a second? Oh, goody. Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's room has a nameplate on it to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. <laughs> Wait. No, no, no. You might need to kill yourself. I can't tell you anything. Got it. Forget everything. I just forget. Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Ha ha ha! Listen to me. You hit. Got it. Faking. Yes, I know. You don't have to slow down every single time I go by it. Let's go one more time. Chihiro! Okay. Nothing there. Map. Uh, let's try going back to the thing. Fast travel for the first time in the series. But there was something else here I wanted to check. I wonder if there's a time limit on the investigation. Well, it doesn't matter. Either way, I need to move as fast as I can. Well, I'm trying. Let's try Aoi again. Um... Hey, by the way... Did you really kill Sayaka? Uh, what? Of course not. I would never. Oh, you're... Dang.
Uh, maybe in the bathroom? Okay, yeah, that's girls. Boys bathroom, here we go. Is that the only thing in here that I can use? Apparently. Yeah, dig it. Wait, a minute, is there anything from Sayaka's room? The DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Saika got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder what did she see? It might not be directly rooted, but it might be worth checking out anyways. I'm sorry, Saika. I need to borrow this DVD. Oh, okay. Here we go. I forgot about the DVD. So let's make my way to the AAV room, which is down on the bottom. Davy room. Let's see about Sayaka! I should be able to see this on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka just threw in the garbage. Set down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I push play and the screen was dark for a few seconds. But then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friend she had said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd. So full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken. And then, a voice I'd come to despise so much began to flow out of the speakers. Zono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly, the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> what the... Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls, who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart! Wait a minute, that frill's starting to look a little bit like the ones that was on the dress. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Oh, and apparently that was our trigger. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Oh, now no. then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! I've been to the red door. It was locked beforehand, but apparently it is our class trial location. Yo! You're late, Makoto! We've all been waiting for you! <laughs> I bet you would 
afraid you would be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet! Save that for the class trial! Uh, you wouldn't want to jump to conclusions in the trial either, sir! There, we can all read that- Why are you so insistent? So they really are convinced they did it. But... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka know that, both know that all too well. But then who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? 